An attempted armed robbery of a Peninsula jewelry store ended in gunfire, but it wasn't the bad guys who pulled the trigger. KPI X5's Max Darrow has more on the confrontation that was all caught on camera. Surveillance video shows the moment three masked gunmen stormed into Plaza Jewelers, ordered everyone to the ground, and demanded money and jewelry, only to frantically run out of the store seconds later after the store owner shot at them. If they don't have um, a gun, they take everything. Rosalva Farias and her husband own the jewelry shop on Middlefield Road in unincorporated Redwood City. When my husband see the guy point to us, my husband should. When the owner fired towards the armed intruders, they took off running. His shot hit the door frame. His shot nearly hit one of the masked suspects. None of them appeared to shoot back. A few weeks ago, a similar situation happened in San Bruno at a jewelry shop in the Tanforan Mall. A shop owner stopped an attempted armed robbery when he pulled out a gun and pointed at the suspects, but did not pull the trigger. It's a lot of, a lot of crazy people on the street. While the shop owner's tactic worked out this time, a spokesperson for the San Mateo County Sheriff's Office tells KPIX5 presenting a gun during the course of a robbery is a very dangerous thing to do. Items can be replaced, lives cannot. Nothing happened. Everybody is fine. I feel grateful, but I'm nervous. Farias says burglars have hit her jewelry shop before, and there was an attempted armed robbery there nearly 10 years ago but never a situation quite like this. Nobody got her, thank God. The suspects have not been taken into custody yet. Anyone with information is urged to contact the San Mateo County Sheriff's Office. In Redwood City, Max Darrow, KPIX 5.